Let's move into uh, your favorite topic. Quarterbacks who get overpaid. Uh, no, I hate so, this shit, Rudy. So, 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 this shit, Rudy. No, I hate uh, this so Jacks, the Jacksonville Jaguars have now signed Trevor Lawrence, who has all of one playoff win, to a five-year, $275 million extension. Um, $55 million a year. I don't know what the guarantees are. I'm guessing it's probably 150 or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But five years for 275 Does that make – do you think because of that, Dak Prescott can leverage the Cowboys for that type of deal, or would he be out of his mind? <laughs> okay. Dak Prescott is going to get $60 million a year. I freaking hate it. He's going to get $60 million a year. What are you going to do, not pay him? They're going to pay this man. If he don't get to the Cowboys, some foolish team is going to give him that amount of money. Because what are they gonna he's gonna go over there and said, What's the quarterback name? Oh, I forgot his name already. Yeah. Blondie, Sunshine. Sunshine from Jacksonville Jaguars. Just Trevor got 50, Lawrence. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence, yeah. Just got yeah, I call him Sunshine. He got fifty five million dollars a year a year. The highest paid. That's you know how this shit goes. When one person get it, it just goes it just balloons more and more and more. Just like when Jimmy Garoppolo got every he didn't deserve it. He won like four games in a row for the 49ers. Let's pay him like, let's pay. Come on, man. Make these people have Cuba. Make them call out there and show that they can run the team and, and be like, God, Trevor Lawrence hasn't done it yet. I know you're just worried that you might lose that one. If we don't pay him this now, yeah, it might come back at his later. But what if you pay him now and they still come to you later because you gave him too much damn money? And he never produces like he should produce or does anything because he doesn't prove that he don't be that guy. Or you just gave him the money already. What happened to you? Had to prove it at least a little bit. He got one playoff when he do another. Come on, now, man! And now Dak Prescott, he's, he's going to go over there and say, "Hey, that guy's got it. He was one one playoff game." Everyone like three. <laughs> he won three playoffs game. I'm the top quarterback in this league. My numbers is, is most touchdowns in the league, and my interceptions went down last. Year. Come on, man! I got to get that man the money. And like I said, he's a top. Quarterback, a top eight to twelve quarterback, but should you get based? We already had this argument. We're gonna do it. He's a top eight to twelve quarterback. And based on that, did that deserve? You called him number twelve. He can't be a top eight to twelve when you called him number twelve. I said he's between eight and twelve. You told and me. When I, and when I gave you names and I said which one is better, you picked the other one until we got the twelve. No, 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 no. Number I, twelve. No, after eight, it was like iffy up and down. Like, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Iffy. I think, he's better, I think he's better than Trevor Lawrence. And if Trevor Lawrence got that money... I believe his career is better than Trevor Lawrence, for sure. I, I, I His career is I far better than Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. At this moment, he's better than Trevor Lawrence. At this moment. Until Trevor Lawrence proves otherwise. I don't know. Well, what do you mean he's better? I mean, better than what? Than Trevor better, Lawrence. Better than, better than what? Better than Trevor Lawrence. What, what, what is that? What, what is that? What is Trevor Lawrence? Number 20? 17? And he's around 15. 15. Yeah. If, he's 15, if he's 15, does that make Dak 14? No, Trevor's between 12 and 15. Because Trevor's won a playoff game faster than Dak Prescott did. Yeah, but we're talking about at this point. We, we can't I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. I just, we, made, I just did that up, by the way. Okay. <laughs> no, because Dak Prescott, no, his first year they lost. They lost to Green Bay. Yeah, they were good, and then they lost their first game. So that's they why I'm like, broke. I don't know. They didn't win that first game until the Detroit Lions, I had to leave. That debacle that happened when they got robbed. When uh, I think Coach Paul was his team. And they didn't, pass in a, they didn't call a pass in the fence. That was clearly passing the fence. It was something like that. And they, and they finally broke through. But yeah, that press I believe every moment is better than Trevor Lawrence. He's proved it. He's, he's more consistent, you know, day in, day out. Trevor Lawrence, he started he had a terrible year last year. He was not good, man. Jaguars started that slow because of him. They got married, and then they came back down there because of him also. So, one thing I know about Dak is going to get him. He's going to be it. 
Right in the middle of the road. Trevor going to be hot one day. He's going to be cold the next day. And that's the guy who decided to give the money to. I don't agree with that market, but Dak is going to get his money, and there's nothing you can do about it. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Make these points by getting paid like that. But they shouldn't be getting paid like that because they're not that good compared to the rest of the players on the team that are that good. Stop it. Stop giving me guys these money, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's play together. Let's get money to other people that deserve it. And that's a good quarterback because he's the quarterback. And he's the leader of the team, but he's the face of the franchise. He, just because he's a face, that don't mean he's a pretty face. Just because he's a face, that means he's a pretty face. I mean, we give it to him. Come on, man. Stop doing it. This person is money to all these other players. But Dak's going to get his money. He's better than Trevor Lawrence. Um, honestly, I don't, I don't even care. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even care. Uh, I think the Trevor Lawrence thing is embarrassing for the league that you pay a guy who's won one playoff game and is has a has a below five hundred overall record as a quarterback. That's the main um, thing. He's five, four, five years in now. I, I think it's embarrassing that they would pay him that much money. Um, it, it it just it's just so bad because there are guys that are winning at a higher level. If we're gonna playoffs, regular season. I mean, I know we all care about playoffs, but you gotta. Be good in the regular season to get to the playoffs. He has weapons. He has weapons, and and it just it just bugs me that you and I'm not and I'm not pocket watching because people like to say, "Oh, you're pocket watch." I'm not pocket watching. I I, I watched a, a we Don sent us a hype video for CFL because we're gonna be doing a lot of CFL stuff, and I gotta learn more about the CFL. I literally felt bad for these guys for how much work that they have to. They they they, they, they gotta go through all this fucking videotaping and and, and photo taking and all this bullshit. And the highest paid player in the CFL is what? 300, 500, 600,000 dollars? 700,000 dollars a year? Mm-hmm. And in Canada, yeah. where that took, when you when you get to the you, the US number, it's 73 cents to the dollar. Well, usually them quarterbacks, they live out there. They don't, they don't come in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, but just in, in terms of the average player in, the, in Canada makes like 100, 100 grand, mm-hmm. 150 grand. I don't know, you tell me. No, it's around like, 100. The, the base is like, the base is like, seventy five. Like, for the like, think, contract. like think about that. This is a this is a football league in one of the largest countries in the world, what? and one that claims to be so caring about people and, and, and medical and all these different things that they claim to care. So why are the football players? I mean, there's twelve or 10, 12 teams. You're nine. telling me that there's no there's nine now. No. Nine. Nine. There used to be more than that, didn't there? At one uh, point, it was. It was, it was before because they came into. The, they had a couple teams in the United States. But what? Why in the world would these guys like? Is there no TSN televises everything? They don't. They don't. They don't advertise it like they should. The league doesn't market the game like they should. And, why not? And, and they lost viewership from the young fans. So a lot of people are older fans, and the older fans are. <clears throat> You know, it's either they're dying or they're getting older and they don't want to go to the to the games as much, and they're not finding a way to market to the younger the younger demographic. Oh, what are they marketing? Curling? They have they're not mark Canada. They don't they're not high on like Canadians are. I've been around these people. They're not well, hockey. They're high on. They, they love their hockey. They love their hockey, but they're not into many other sports like that. Even the Raptors games in Toronto, they have so much other things to do in Toronto. That they don't really do it much more than that. They go to the Maple Leafs game, but it, it's not an interest in them. They don't think, at least in Toronto, they, they're Buffalo Bills fans. They go down there to Buffalo. I know, I know, yeah, I know they're Buffalo yeah, yeah. Bills. But the rest yeah. of the league, um, Stats has a pretty good following. Winnipeg has a good following. Um, man, shout out to the BC owner, man. He's came in the past couple of years. They had, a, they were really slow, man. They were not getting fans in there. And the new owner came in. He started marketing to the young, younger demographic. Last game, they had 50000 there at the season opener. You know what they did? They got 50 cents to come perform at halftime. That was a marketing tool that's starting to get the younger fans in there. Even if they don't stay the whole game, they bought merchandise. So they, at least they got an opportunity to watch the game and probably become an amateur. Even if they gained 10 new people that joined, that's, that's a win for them. But they don't market the game enough. TSN don't do a good job of of talking about it enough on their on 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 their sports show, um, they only show it on TSN. They don't have it on like the regular channel, like you know we have it on ABC and CBS. They don't have it on theirs. 
You know, I think they just finally bring it back to them this year. But they don't do it like they used to. They used to have it like that, but they slowed it down, and now that being brought. Down. So give me the give me the exact give me the exact number. What is the average salary? You said one hundred fifty grand. So that would probably be around the average, um, because you have a couple you have a couple players that's making seven hundred, two hundred. Okay, but average average is average. Yeah. How average. many players? How many players per team? Um, there's forty four on the roster, on the active roster, and uh, two that's you know. On the unactive roster, that could be on the active roster. Well, let's say let's just go forty six, yeah. nineteen. Yep. So you're telling me that Trevor Lawrence makes almost as much as money as the entire fucking league? Yeah, more. That's a problem <laughs> to me. That's no. a problem to me. And, 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 I, and, 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 and I think and I think it's it, I think it's eye opening because it shows that guys are actually playing football up they there because they love love playing football. Yeah. And these guys here don't love playing football. They love what football brings, not the actual fact that they love. They may have loved football in high school and little league. They don't play football because they love football. They play football because it, of the of the money it brings them. And I'm not gonna, that's I'm not gonna, that's I'm not gonna say that for everybody. Really, most uh, okay, okay. Every, 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 okay. I'm, I never when I say I, mean, I never I, I never mean, say it's never absolute. It's never saying. everybody. Yeah. As Tom Brady, Tom Brady took pay cuts to play. Yeah. Tom Brady took pay cuts to get ballers next to him, whereas Patrick Mahomes ain't taking pay cuts. All yeah, right. He, and, 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 that. I mean, he, his, he, he made initial it. his initial contract was for four hundred million dollars over like ten years. Like he was the highest paid player in the league when he signed that deal. No, he had the biggest contract. He wasn't the highest paid player. Yes, he was. His forty mil was the highest average when he signed it. No, it wasn't when, he, when he signed it, bro. Unless. Then he signed his deal. He was the highest paid player in the league. And then other guys start he's jumping still, him. He's still been you taking haircuts though, because even you know they found a way to you know to, to how, many hair, how, how, how many haircuts uh, has Dak Prescott taken? He, he should be taking a lot of haircuts. Because he, he seriously didn't take a haircut in his last contract. No, he should be getting a lot of haircuts. He should be at the barber shop every because, week. Because he should, be, he should be at the barber shop every week. Tom Brady, Tom Brady took more than haircuts. Yes, yeah. He, he, Tom Brady was never the top paid player in the yeah, league. But, Even though he was the top player in the league Tom for Brady, twenty fucking years. He basically went to the to the barber and said, "Give me the Rudy, Rudy show my." <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just I feel bad. I, I almost wish that some and look, I don't say nothing absolute because there are guys in the NBA. Like every time people say, you know, they don't love the game. Well, Derek White loves the game. He played eighty two games. I think he, I think he played eighty two games, um, but there was a, there was a few guys that played eighty two games. When you play fifty five games and you're not hurt, you don't love basketball. When you when you find reasons to sit and mm-hmm. not play, Rudy, you don't love the game. You're not keeping me off the field on the court. So I'm saying they don't love the game. They was, love the money. I was so pissed off with my coach. It was like it was eleven and one one year, man. And it was like the last two years we were coming back from COVID, so they cut they made the league a little bit shorter. So um, my coach was like, I'm in the office, like, hey, Nick, we're sitting here this week. No, the hell you weren't. I don't even know how much time I got left to play. Now look at me. I'm not playing anymore. I wanted to play every game, every minute, every practice. I didn't even sit out. My DB coaches were kind of, hey, hey, yo, Nick, they call me up. Hey, up. Uh, man, relax, man. You don't need to be practicing. You know, we know what you can do, man. Don't, man, this, I love this shit, coach. I'm not sitting the fuck out. I don't care if it's just practice. I want to be out here with my team. I just want to be out here running around. This is my happiness. I enjoy it. I love this. I wear this shit on my fucking sleeve. I wear this on my chest. I like. I don't know. I'm not gonna say I don't know what I'd be without it, but it's that damn important to me that I have to be out here for my team, for me. For it's just what I'd love to do, man. So you're not keeping me off the. Off, I mean, at the end of the day, coach, coach, I didn't play. I mean, coach had the last decision, but. I mean, I, I made it very known in him. I want to play this game. I don't care. If I get hurt, that's just what, it's just what happens. I, I can't go – because it could have it been the first game of the playoffs, the first play of the playoffs, I come out there and I get hurt. Like, I can't control that. As long as I'm doing everything I can do off the field to take care of my body, strengthen and recover, I mean, I'm going to have to live with the results, man. You could try to hold myself off. And me holding myself off, I might get hurt. By doing that, you never know how these injury things work, man. So just, just play. And 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 that's and that's all I'm saying. Like I don't, I almost feel, I feel bad for those guys because like they play because they love it. And these guys in the NFL, they're so worried. All they're worried about is their next deal. They're worried about their next contract. They're worried about 
setting themselves up for lives and the lives of their family. And, and I res- and I understand that. And I get and, and I get and I get that. Mm-hmm. But you want you know what I also get? I know that fans are spending a fortune to watch what I consider. I mean, I, I feel that way about it's pretty much every sport nowadays. A substandard product. Because I grew up watching football, and this is not what I grew up watching. I watch basketball. This is not what I grew up watching. Baseball is starting to do some of this dumb shit that I cannot. Like the Yankees just lost. Why? Because they put a fu- they have this this ghost runner in extra innings, which costs people games, which in turn costs you the playoffs, Hold which on. is not real baseball. But they start on second base or something like that, right? They start on second base. This all happened because of COVID, and they never went back to the real way to play baseball, which was. No one's on base in extra innings. <laughs> now in the playoffs, it they, they, they goes back to real baseball. But if I lose 10 games because of a ghost runner, because all it takes is an error, a flub ball, it's, and anything can happen. You know, they lost tonight because the guy threw the ball into left field, you know, on, on, on an attempted steal. But also the, the hit before was a pop-up that if there's no one on second, it's a single. Mm-hmm. You know, so this is not baseball anymore to me. So these leagues are fucking with the sport. They're, they, football is powder puff. And, and NFL. NFL football is powder puff because I can't speak on Canada um, intelligently. NBA is powder puff, soft. The only sport that I really love watching today is MMA and boxing. The two sports I love watching, MMA and boxing, primarily MMA. Boxing for big matches? Yes, absolutely. MMA, I will watch MMA all day. I'll be watching BKSC. Um, I love combat sports because you cannot cheapen combat sports. You cannot throw in all these rules to make it not physical. And all these sports continue to damage their sport. There's a reason why no one watched the NBA Finals. There's a reason why Caitlin Clark outdrew the NBA Finals. There's a reason why against the Chicago sky at 12 noon on Father's Day. There's a reason when the, re- the ratings for the NBA are worse today, despite all their attempts to make it exciting with all these points and removing rules. No traveling, you can run, you can walk eight feet, and no one will say nothing. We have video after video of guys picking up the ball, taking five steps, dribbling the ball again, and no one calling traveling. Like, how many steps does this guy get to take? We missed it, right? Rudy, we missed it. Rudy, yeah, they, right? they, they, they always miss it. I mean, you, you, watch, you watch this stuff, and this isn't ball. And they've done everything in the NFL to remove the contact, remove the hitting. Now we're going to have the most funky-looking, quirky kickoffs ever. It's but this is not. This, better, better than it was before. You really how, get- well, no, it, it's not better. If it was better, they'd move the goddamn kicker back to the 10-yard line no. and make him keep that shit fucking... And, and people would return that shit from the 20. It's better than it was before. You weren't getting it's anything. Better. You weren't getting anything. You had to get some well, returns. Nick, now. Nick, Nick. They at one point did have the kickoffs back to like the 20. And they changed it. No, no, they I keep get, fucking I, with it. I get what you're saying, but you weren't getting anything from the special teams. So now, so now I'm going to get a bunch of kickoff returns for touchdown that I don't want to have either because football is not just played on special teams. When you have time, if the Dolphins don't have Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle and Devin Etchane back there returning kicks, kickoffs, I'm gonna have a real problem with Mike McDaniel. It, it should be, it'll be a chain. I don't think you put Waddle or uh, Tyree. You, you, you need two or three of those guys back there. Yeah. That's my two of those. Two of those three guys should be back there because mm-hmm. those guys are speed burners who they hit the hole, the shit's over. Mm-hmm. And but that's not football either to me. It's not. That's XFL hokey bullshit that they make up for, for I mean, I don't I don't believe in that crap. If it's given too much, then they're gonna take it away. But rules change but, every but, week, but, really. You got, you got, no, but 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 rules rule Nick, football was about hitting, man. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Hitting. There's no hitting in football anymore. They're still hitting. It's just there's no hitting it's like the it's controlled hitting. Controlled hitting? <laughs> It's controlled. Control, it. Controlled punching. Yeah. You can't straighten your arm. You can only punch him with your elbow bent. Like this is ridiculous. You have defensive linemen that are being fined for tackling somebody because they can't tackle the QB high. They can't tackle him low. They don't tackle him. And they, don't, they can't land on him. <laughs> when they don't land on him, they still get called for it. They don't tackle him in their navel. It's a penalty. 
But mind you, while this happens, they're being tackled from behind by a left tackle or a right tackle. Who pushes into the damn quarterback? But you know what? You know what that is because now the contracts, the quarterbacks are getting fifty five million, so they have to protect their ass. I I wish they would cap pro football to like a max deal of like twenty five million for a quarterback, like because this stuff. Because when I see guys who play for love and I see guys who play for money, if Tua Tagovailoa gets two hundred and seventy-five million dollars, I will never watch another Dolphins. So I have a problem with that's the thing. When I have a problem with somebody getting two million a game, and then you got this other person who's busting his ass and he's getting one million for the whole year. Because Tua, because Tua has arguably been better than Trevor Lawrence. How can you? How can you? How can you, how can you justify somebody getting two million a game and somebody game. and somebody getting a million for the season? Nick, Nick, Nick. The, Trevor Lawrence will make three million a game. 18, 17 games, fifty-five million. That's over three million a game. Because you know he's not going to play it down in the preseason. And you got a rookie who's busting his ass, protecting him on the Come on, man. On the old like, man, I have a problem. I, I guess again, this ain't pocket watching, but this is not. This this is so out of whack. What's happening with these contracts in the NFL for quarterbacks? Well, they're and, but, I'm not, but, and they're going to be on TV this, and I'm not, it, it, I'm not saying people, they shouldn't get paid. I'm just saying it should be spread out a little bit more evenly throughout the rest of the team. That's it, all it, I'm it, saying. Cap, cap it by position. That's all you I'm can Cap it by position. But you know what? TV deals are great. You know what I say to all that? How often do owners of companies spread their fucking financial wealth with their employees? I think the fact that these owners have, and, and I'm, I'm, I know I'm going to probably ruffle feathers here. They don't have to do this. Like, people bought teams back in the day because it was an ego. Mm -hmm. Like, these, these rich billionaire, multi-millionaires, back in those mega, like, multi-millionaires. They were losing money. They bought, they were, teams lost money. Go look at Yankee Stadium in 1998 when the Yankees won 114 games. The upper deck of Yankee Stadium, upper deck of Yankee Stadium was empty. Now the Yankee Stadium has 48,000 fans a game. It doesn't matter if it's raining, snowing, hot, cold. It doesn't matter. But in the 80s and 90s, Yankee Stadium was largely empty and they won Four World Series in the late 90s. They were bad in the 80s, but in the late 90s, we the Yankees were 96, 98, 99, 2000. And then they were in the World Series again in 2001, uh, in the World Series in 2003, and, 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 and then they won it again in 2009. Like, they, they fill their stadium all the time. But these teams largely lost money. Yeah, definitely didn't win it. Yeah, definitely didn't win it in 2003. No, we went. We went. We okay. lost to the Mar. We lost to the Marlins. Oh, okay. That, I was just gonna say. Okay. We lost to the. We lost in two thousand one to the to the Diamondbacks. Yep. We lost in two thousand three to the Marlins, and then we won in 09. Randy Johnson. Uh, yeah. What's my yeah. guy? Ben Schilling. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was more, It was. It, it was because Mario Rivera blew it in the ninth. What's my, we had that game one. What's my? What's the hitter for them? Number twenty. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't Mark. Yeah. I don't Mark Grace. I don't yeah, like fifty pounds that year. Or 50, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I, I don't. I don't care. Okay. I don't care. Luis. I, I, all I know is Luis Gonzalez. All, go. all, all, all I know is that these teams, owners bought teams. They weren't profit centers. So if it's a profit center now, why am I sharing my profit with players? I'm already paying them a fortune. Why don't I gonna pay them more? Because at the end of the day. And I know this probably ruffles people. So like you're, you're siding with the rich. No, I'm not. I'm siding with the person who paid for the fucking team. That they're not being dictated what they got to pay people. Like this is their business. That this is their company. The same way I'm sure the owners of these teams in Canada are multimillionaires mm -hmm. and could pay guys a lot more than they're paying them, but they don't. But they don't. I'm sure they could pay them more than 75000 75, as a base salary. But they don't, and you got players, uh, rookies that are that are living in one. But think about right now how expensive it is to live in Miami. Shit, tell me about. It. What's the base contract for a football player right now in the NFL? Seven hundred grand. A close to a million. Eight hundred grand. They close to it. No. And they get and they get that sports tax. That's half their salary. Mm -hmm. That's half their salary. 
a one bedroom apartment right now in Miami is going to cost them $3,000 for a mediocre one. Like they're obviously they're not going to be in, impoverished or like that, but that money's not going to last them in the next 30 years. That, that money won't last them for, and their career is likely over by the time they're 27. That's why, that's why the top players are like, that's why I'm getting my money. <laughs> you know, but, but I, I yeah, it, it's just weird to me how, the, how, how professional sports has gone so far down in terms of quality. Because right now, the NBA wanted so badly to have all these high-scoring games. And what'd you get? You got high-scoring games with no defense, yet they have less people watching than they had in 1998 when Michael Jordan was playing the Chicago Bulls. They played defense this series. And those, and, those game, and those games were played in the 80s and the 90s. Really, they I played, thought the points mattered. They played, they played defense this series. Yeah, I know, because they can, because they choose not to. I told you they didn't choose not to. They choose not, to not play defense. We had this conversation. We no, play. they choose not. So anyhow, uh, uh, yeah, Dak Prescott. I don't care. Uh, you know what? Go go take sixty million and go make the Cowboys get rid of C.D. Lamb and Michael Parsons and um, Diggs and and go lose some more. Okay, okay. Cool. I love it because I hate the Cowboys as it is. Okay. Last last topic of the day, and I'm gonna keep this one quick. Thank you for watching. Come on now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.